he's got some red. Oh my god. <sighs> As an honest, hard-working police officer trying to keep the peace. Leave them alone, they're not bad, they're not bad, leave them alone. Some lads crack onto drugs, some yeah. get into gangs, yeah. others just enjoy a bit of football fuckery. Yeah. That's just your outlet as a young working class lad. <laughs> Can't do nothing today, there's too many police around. Takes a piss bar. So what's the plan? Vengeance, isn't it? <laughs> A couple of miles from the stadium is West Gorton, where Aaron lives with his family. Hiya. I'm a HGD driver at the minute. I left school at 16, become a driver's mate. And I'm working my way up from having my own van and then I'm funding my own HGD licence as well. I get Lily. I've got no help off nobody, done it all myself. Do you normally pick kids up? No, nah, I'm using that work. I never get to do it like I'm doing it today. Didn't you know what? Yeah, well, when's the last time I picked you up, Will? In year three. Bit of a completely different when year. <laughs> yeah, turn it off, Elk. Do my head in me. 17, I was when I met Aaron at KFC. I'm not interested in the football, to be honest. I just leave him to it, and I just think if he gets in trouble, then. It's his own fault. La, 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 mama. Mm? La, la. As long as you don't get in too much trouble, that is. Like getting locked up and stuff, but you know. Do you want your tea? She likes to kick me out a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Where is she? She'll be listening. Nah, right, um. Just stubborn neck with both of them, don't like to give in. Fucking knew you should have gone. You should have been gone by now. When he's with the lads, he's a different person, though. When he's here with. His family is a lot different. When he's with the lads, is I've not got my key. How's he different? Um, when he's here, he can, there's a different side to him. It can be quite sweet. You know, when we're all by ourselves, he can be. <laughs> He loves us really, doesn't he? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Help you. Yeah. What's the matter? You want to wee? Mama. You want Mama to come to you? Mum pays for the phone, but I pay for petrol and stuff. She pays for the insurance and that. How do you afford it? I don't know. Bit of this and that? Mm. High school, went to it, got there till year 11, then ended up getting kicked out. Why? Just being a little shit, really. What are you kids up to then? Been at school? Yeah. Been down school? You bunking off today? Yeah. Hey, what'd you get kicked out of school for? For punching someone, smoking, bringing knives yeah. to school. I can't sit like down and just be writing and stuff. I've got to do something physical. I am going in this spinny thing. I'll probably not miss it. I thought I wasn't getting anywhere. My GCSE is going to be rubbish because. I always mess about in lessons. I wasn't focused on school. I didn't like it. I didn't want to be there. I'm stuck. I can't get out. For those lads who get to the end of school, they're kind of 15, 16, and they haven't got their GCSEs, what happens to them? Just a life of misery. White working class boys are now the worst performers at GCSE, and fewer of them go to university than any other group but some people do make it. I was brought up in a working class way, in a working class background. I were lucky, I, I were good at school, I were academically minded, I were quick, I could make people laugh, you know what I mean? I could do things, I could chat and still get on with my work. Most people couldn't do that. There were people genuinely who were fantastic with working with their hands, but the other five hours of the day, they were just miserable. It's just not set up to cater for 
working class lads who were that way inclined. There's just no end goal. There's no end point. There's no path. There's just get on with it is the main phrase that you hear constantly. And that messes with your mind after a while. I think that sums up what a lot of working class men feel. There's opportunity there. There's just not enough. I come from a massive family. We've never had much money, obviously. There's so many of us. Even when my mum was working, it wasn't pulling enough to talk all of us out straight away. Dale lives with his mum, four of his five brothers, his aunts, cousin, three dogs, and the parrot. I'm playing on the game. Right, we'll move it a Fucking bit forward up. and don't raise your voice to me. When you live in a community and you've got a lot of children, people automatically think that you're having them children to claim more benefits. We're not all like that. Some of us actually had our kids because we wanted to. Oh, is it the well, I made some Sunday dinner for you. What did ever be? <laughs> what, Stacey yeah, made some Sunday dinner? I've done cleaning jobs, I've done bar work, I've done waitressing. Anything to bring money in. He used to be able to walk out of one job and straight into another. You can't do that now because there's too many people and not enough jobs. <laughs> 